Here's my home built motorized uh, lathe control right here. We have the front panel, power input, uh, remote control in, green blinking light that's uh, written into the software so you know uh, the uh, controller isn't hung up, power indicator, then you got a toggle switch for automatic mode and uh, remote control mode. Soon to be a toggle switch for radio control mode as well. Inside, 37 and a half amp power supply, just barely adequate for this. Uh, I thought it would be overkill. Turns out, um, if you really uh, torque the torque the controls pretty fast, you can uh, you can trip it. Not a big deal. Just cycle the power, comes back on. Um, now up here we got our Sabertooth 2x25. It's a great motor controller for hobbies and uh, I'll give you all sorts of ideas you can do with it. Mm -hmm. We've got a radio controller that's running off the battery eliminator circuit of the motor controller. Motor controller is in a serial packetized uh, setup here where it's being fed straight from the Arduino. Uh, it works out real well and also as a uh, fail safe you can, I believe uh, the S2 input is um, active low, I believe, to kill the output. So if you want another safety switch on here, you can just uh, you can just hook that right up. Uh, once again, there's the Arduino hidden behind the wires there. It's an Arduino Uno, uh, powered by just a little 9-volt uh, voltage regulator there, a little 317 and a couple caps, and uh, get a steady 9 volts. Over here, we have the limit switches, left and right limit switches. This will pre prevent the uh, longitudinal movement from um, going too far and uh, burning up the motor or the motor controller. A uh, little micro switch is mounted on a, a rod and they're adjustable. Um, normally open, so um, you can run it without it. I wouldn't advise it though. Now here for the DC motors, we have a twist lock connector on the one side and a different connector on the other side so you don't get them mixed up. And over here we'll follow the serial cable to the remote control right here. We have two pots, longitudinal, cross feed, switch that goes into the Arduino and that will uh, kill it in the software, kill the uh, motor output, it will send a zero to the uh, motor controller. And just a 12 volt LED to indicate that the power is in fact on. Even when it's off the power is still on, the LED does not reflect the uh, toggle switch here. Mm -hmm. You can see this works quite well. Mm -hmm. And back on. Mm -hmm. so right now we're in man or in automatic mode. Back and forth between these uh, micro switches here. And believe it or not, writing the program for this automatic mode was the uh, most difficult part for me. It took me about four hours till I finally figured out how to do it. Um, one thing you got to remember is to debounce these uh, micro switches, and um, then you want to do a uh, a uh, button. I uh, can't even think of it now. The button status change. Uh, I believe that's the term. Uh, basically, I uh, had a variable and it counted uh, every time these switches were hit. When both of them equal one another, it goes in one direction. When they do not equal, it goes in the other direction. Uh, it took me about two or three hours to figure out that that's the best way to do this. Okay, now also these limit switches in manual mode will prevent it from over traveling. Once it hits a micro switch, it will stop for I believe 750 milliseconds and it'll reverse course at half speed for uh, two seconds, I believe. So here you have it the two axes remote control and the control box. Soon to be uh, radio control as well. I'm going to post the code along with this, so feel free to uh, politely critique it. Um, use it for uh, your own um, projects. Feel free. Uh, I know I've used bits and pieces of it that I've found from other people that have posted it. And uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, maybe I can help you out. Thanks.